Would you choose the GP, ICU, or uh, ER, or ICU, intensive care? Well, or, or none uh, of the above. I guess you could, you could, I guess you could choose none of the above. Well, I think that it's a, a bit of like a long-term care, I think. Long -term? Oh, okay, so not ICU, more like... Hospice care. Yeah. Or assisted living? Convalescent home? <laughs> nursing, a, nurse, a nursing home, like a nursing, nursing home. home. Yeah, sort of like, it's been going on for, for a long time, for three years. I think uh -huh. that people are paying attention to that. There's financial markets moving. You see a stock market crash. You see the Chinese currency is like under, under pressure. So people start talking about the economy. The economy has been... Uh, sliding for like three years. Mm -hmm. Are you going to be keeping an eye out uh, at 10 o'clock? How important is this uh, to you? I think that the uh, Chinese statistics are really used to project uh, uh, kind of a, some sort of perception. Uh, we know the statistics are not very accurate. And you, look at, you look at the economy in the fourth quarter, the electricity uh, became more negative, right? Uh, and the housing starts last year were about 14% 14, 14 down. So half of the economy actually is negative. So if you want, you're gonna, you're, if you're gonna grow at a six and a half percent, the other half needs to grow at a thirteen percent. Which industry is growing at a thirteen percent? So it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's, a, it's a kind of a very difficult to comprehend. I know fangs industries. <laughs> yeah, industries where you cater to people sitting in, in front of a box and just uh, you know doing not using their brain much and being entertained. That's growing quite yeah. a bit. <laughs> We, we know the, a lot of companies are listed. You look at their sales, their revenues, uh, the report, you know where the economy is roughly is. The economy is not growing much. It may, possibly not in recession, but it certainly is not growing at 6 7%. Uh -huh. So what's going to take to, to get there to that 6 and a half that they, they promised in order for them to reach their goal by 2020 to double GDP? I, I, I don't see a, a, a concerted effort to revive the economy. And I don't, I don't see that policy. Uh, we see a lot of uh, uh, psychological uh, uh, therapy and uh, trying to make people feel better. But uh, we're not seeing policy measures to revive the economy. And a lot of people are giving up. They, uh, the, the, now the catch phrase is supply side reform. Supply side reform is uh, one, on the one hand is that you want to deal with overcapacity inventory, but, uh, uh, housing inventory, but you have to deal with the financial consequences. So we, we don't hear that, so you, you can be sure there will be no efforts to dealing with uh, overcapacity. What do you think wake up in China to the fact that the more you do, the less you accomplish, the less you do, the more you accomplish? I'm looking at the whole circuit breaker thing. If they, didn't, if they just rolled over into the new year and didn't have all that stuff, you know, we wouldn't have had that problem. Would no, it, if they had not moved the exchange rate, uh, that was a huge mistake, right? And, I, and because they played with the property market, that, 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 that blew up. Then they played with the stock market, that blew up. It kind of, uh, it's kind of sort of like a, uh, you, you try something, then they eventually they look at the exchange rate, they say, hey, let's try that. Yeah. And that really was, uh, a, a, you, you don't play with the exchange rate, that's very dangerous. Now mm -hmm. we are in a, a lot of more difficulties because they decide to play with the exchange rate. Mm -hmm. So what is the, the government going to do now? We, have, of course, have that big policy meeting uh, in March to the National People's Congress. They're going to be mapping out their, the, the next road ahead for the next couple of years. What do you expect from, from the policymakers? Almost nothing. I think that you're going to hear a lot of rhetoric about uh, uh, middle, in, middle class, uh, uh, income doubling, and all those things, but no concrete measures how to get there, right? The, well, China's, the, the root of China's economic problem is that the government is too big. Okay, but the politics now is that uh, to strengthen the government. So the, the, this uh, this conflict is is the reason why we are stuck. You cannot move forward because if you refuse to shrink the government, there, there's no hope for the economy. So, what do you mean by rhetoric? They're just they're basically there's going to be a lot of talk, but no. no Chinese, but no, it's, it's just going to be just soft talk, just useless talk because they yeah. they've already. They, do you think they learned their lesson? You know, Chinese people are hopeful. You 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 see something to make them uh, hope. Okay, how about one, about one road? How, did, how does that make you feel? I, no, nobody knows, right? So, <laughs> so uh, I, I oh, think... He, he's heard this, hasn't yeah, he? You know, the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, uh, the really classical story in China is the empty, empty city strategy. Is uh -huh. They achieve something with nothing. A lot of Chinese believe that. So they keep trying going down that path. They believe that uh, you, can do, you can get something w with nothing. So uh -huh. that's the reason why they are, keep talking about something else. Every day, oh, I talk this, it doesn't work. Tomorrow, I talk something else. Uh -huh. you, you keep getting people confused. Hopefully, they, they, they do what you want them to do. Are we going to get any um, interest rate cuts and triple R cuts? How many do you uh, think? Not likely. Uh, it's, it's, uh, with the exchange rate under pressure like that, you know, the people who cut the interest rate before should be fired. You know? 